Be more selfish, blood. A lot of people like to say you should be more selfless, be a more selfless person. I'm saying the exact opposite. I'm saying be more selfish. That does not mean step over someone who's dying and that for your own benefit. That don't mean snake people or double cross people or stab people in the back. But what I'm saying is, people them, we need to be more selfish. So earlier today, uh, you know I do like, I ain't done a live stream, look a while. Live stream's coming, don't worry. I do the live streams and then I'll cut up the videos and just drop a little five or ten minute snippet in that. So I dropped a snippet today and basically man's talking about The news will have you worried about things that ain't got nothing, ain't of no concern to you. The news reports on stuff that's going on in other countries and people in the UK are getting affected by it. That don't make no fucking sense. Just like when man made that video talking about why are people in the UK worried and getting emotional over who's getting elected in the next country. What the fuck's that got to do with us? gives a shit who's the next president of America or what leader in North Korea might have passed away or whatever. What's that got to do with us? How's that helping any of us in the UK? That yeah, if a man or a girl has got an interest in politics, yeah, it's interesting in that. But just leave it as an interest, isn't it? Yeah, don't get emotional over politics in another country. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Basically, to sum up that video, I'm saying stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about what's going on in another country with their politics and their government issues. You know, there was people in the UK, I remember when Donald Trump was about to get elected blood. There's people in the UK getting angry and vexed over Donald Trump getting elected. But why do you care, fam? You're a UK citizen. You ain't got no ties to America. Why is it even getting you angry? Obviously, if you have a passion for politics and that and you find it interesting, that's different. But it should not get you angry. It should not get you emotional about who's going to be elected to run the country in another country that's got nothing to do with you. You've got too much time on your hands, blood. To be thinking, arguing, debating, getting angry over who's going to get elected in another country. Whether you like it or not, that person is getting elected. So why the fuck are you even wasting any time and energy on it? It's not affecting you. Obviously, if you hear some madness that, oh, Donald Trump's going to get in power. I'm going to start social cleansing and killing all the black people and that. Well, you're not going to want to hear that, obviously. That could affect you emotionally. But man's policies and manifestos and that, but why has it got anything to do with you, blood? Stop worrying about what your neighbours are up to. Stop worrying about your brethren's relationship and that. Focus on your own relationship. Focus on yourself, blood. Any of you that watch this, like, why is Jay so focused? Like, how did he get to it? Blood, the reason why I'm so focused, the reason why I'm, I'm at the place that I'm at is because I focus on myself, blood. I'm not interested in what's going on in other people's lives and that. Maybe every now and then I'll give you a split second. I might give you one brain cell if you're lucky. Other than that, I'm not focused on no one else. I'm focused on myself. My girlfriend, she's not black, yeah? She's half Polish, half Iraqi. So she's basically white. Every week without fail, blood. This girl calls me the N-word. She calls me a narcissist. Come on, fam. If you ever thought that I would tolerate a girl calling me the N-word, you must be fucking mad, blood. But anyway, she calls me a narcissist. And you know what? That's helped me get to where I am. Focus on myself. I'm not into. I don't care what what's going on, even in even in the UK. I don't care who's the prime minister or this person. I don't business blood, because whether who's this person's the prime minister or not, I'm still gonna be making moves. I'm still gonna be successful, fam. People out here spend too much time, fam. Too much time gossiping about that person, thinking about this person. Blood, this is why you're broke, blood. You've got too much free time on your hands and you're not using it wisely, fam. These people, they spend their whole day just leaving nasty comments underneath people's Instagram posts and that. Or people making these hate videos. There's people that have built YouTube channels off of dissing other people, you know. People done that to Kevin Samuels. There's a couple YouTube channels that have been built off dissing Kevin Samuels when he was alive, you know. Or did they just put that energy into themselves? They can actually be a good YouTuber. And it's backfired. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels the GOAT. He's no longer here no more, fam. So now, your content is limited. There's only a certain amount of content you can produce, blood. 
You're going to run out one day and you're going to fade out, blood. You need to realise. You're putting all this energy into other people that you should be invested in yourself. Do you know why? Let me tell you something right now. When you die, blood, you know the earth is going to continue to rotate. The earth is going to continue to move forward. The earth is not going to stop when you die, fam. And if you're nobody, people just remember you for a split second and continue their day, blood. Try and become somebody. So that you're remembered, you're remembered in years to come. The fuck you want to come on this planet, have a healthy brain, healthy body and not make nothing on yourself, end up dying for people to just remember you for a split second and that, and that's it. Nothing good to say about you, really. There's certain people right now, when they die, when someone was to, if someone was to, someone would have, would struggle to come up with a eulogy. To talk about all your accomplishments and that. There's certain people who are dying right now. He just worked at Asda. That's it. You want, when, when you die, you want people to have to be able to write a lot of stuff on your grave. Yeah, he done this, he done that, he done this, he done that. Not, he just worked at Asda. I'm not talking about some fucking 20 year old. I'm talking about a man who's 60 years old, blood. Focus on yourself. You, the only person you can depend on, on this, in this world is you. You're not a child. You're not a pitney blood. You're a grown ass adult. So therefore you need to be focusing all your energies into yourself. Obviously if you've got kids with that, that's a bit different. But you're a single person. You need to focus all your energies into yourself. Born alone, die alone. Me, I only think I've only got myself. That's it. Worried about even, even just, just, just worrying about who's going to be elected in this country and that. Come on, man. Come on, man. It don't matter who is in charge in this country, blood. You're going to make something of yourself. You're going to make something of yourself, blood. Yeah, there might be some hurdles in the way. There might be some advantages to this person being elected and that. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make much of a fucking difference. If you're going to be successful, you're going to be successful. If you're going to fail, you're going to fail. There's certain people right now, they feel like they failed. Because certain people were in power. They feel like, oh, if this person was in power, their manifesto, yeah, that, that would fit me properly. And that, yeah, I, I would have been successful. Bullshit. If you're going to fail, you're going to fail. You're going to succeed. You're going to succeed. You can put any hurdle in front of me. I'll find a way around it, over it. I'll knock it over. I don't give a fuck, blood. You can't stop me. That's why I'll be one of the few black people that actually make it, you know. Because I don't feel like my colour or my skin determines... My outcome. I ain't got a victim mentality. I don't feel like, oh, I'm a black man, so I'm at a disadvantage. I'm doing better than most white people I pass in the streets. It's not an accident. I ain't made from the heavens or nothing. My brain is wired differently. I'm no more special than anybody watching this. It's just, I'm hard, I'm, I'm wired differently, I think different. You gotta stop letting your outside influences and that control you. This is not the 60s and that way, it's uh, really difficult for black people and that. 2022, there's opportunities out here. And you got people, and I'm a bit digress, I'm in a video and they say, I, I saw one video where one girl was complaining that, oh, the reason why she's not a successful Instagram model and that is because she's mixed race. She, she, she has uh, the image of a black woman So that's why she's not successful Because when she posts up almost nude pictures They get taken down and that When white girls post almost nude pictures and that Just all these excuses and that All these excuses It's ridiculous man But anyway man, that, that's it for today man Be more, be more selfish Focus on yourself more. You're the only person that you can depend on. So that's the person that you need to put the most energy into. Fuck your friends. Fuck your neighbours. Fuck your family members. And all these people will chat shit about you behind your back. Trust me. I know people who are friends who gossip and debate. Uh, gossip and diss their friends behind their back. So why are you putting your focus and energy into them? Put your focus and your energy into yourself, blood. This is the only person you can depend on in this world. Stay wise, done now.